Mary Barra, from assembly line to GM boardroom. Mary Barra's story is woven into the very fabric of the automotive industry. Born Mary Teresa McKella on December 24, 1961 in Waterford, Michigan, a suburb of Detroit, Motor City, she was surrounded by the pulse of engines and the hum of factories from a young age. Her father, Ray McKella, worked as a dye maker at Pontiac for 39 years, instilling in her a love for mechanics and an intrinsic understanding of car manufacturing. From a young age, she demonstrated a keen interest in automotive mechanics, spending time tinkering with engines and fixing bicycles, laying the groundwork for her future career. This early spark ignited a passion that would propel her through the ranks of GM, from the assembly line to the executive suite. Grammar school was uneventful, but later she enrolled at the General Motors Institute, now Kettering University, earning a Bachelor of Science degree in electrical engineering in 1985. Her commitment to blending technical skills with business acumen led her to obtain an MBA from the Stanford Graduate School of Business in 1990 under a GM fellowship. While still a student, she began working on the GM assembly line at age 18, inspecting hoods, vendors, and gaining first-hand experience in car production. Her dedication and natural talent caught the attention of GM management, and she soon found herself taking on roles in engineering, quality control, and eventually moving into leadership positions. She then began climbing the corporate ladder, and Mary's career at GM became a testament to her diverse skills and unwavering drive. From managing plant operations to spearheading cutting-edge technology, she tackled challenges across departments. Her collaborative leadership style earned her respect of colleagues and superiors alike. In 2014, she absolutely shattered the glass ceiling when she was appointed CEO of General Motors, becoming the first woman to lead a major automaker making history. This wasn't just a personal triumph, it was a watershed moment for the industry and a beacon of inspiration for women everywhere. However, her leadership faced immediate challenges. The company was reeling from the 2008 financial crisis and a devastating recall. Yet, Mary navigated these storms with determination and vision. She prioritized the safety and quality while pushing for innovation, all within a culture of accountability and transparency. And navigating the tumultuous waters of the 2023 UAW strike, he displayed a deft combination of strategic guidance, firm leadership, and an unwavering professionalism. Amidst heated rhetoric and escalating tensions, she consistently steered GM toward a resolution, prioritizing communication and transparency. Her decisive yet measured approach prevented the strike from spiraling into a deeper conflict. Ultimately, securing a tentative agreement that balanced both labor and management interests. Through this crisis, Mary solidified her image as a leader who values collaboration, prioritizes communication, and navigates even the most difficult situations with a cool head and a steady hand. And then Mary was recently lauded by President Biden for leading the charge in electric vehicles. While GM's EV ambitions under Mary are undeniable, and their recent factory zero plant is a notable step, the dissonance between this praise and Tesla's 70% share of the US EV market is hard to ignore. It seems that Biden may have misread the market landscape, focusing on a traditional giant like GM instead of the current leader, Tesla. Nonetheless, Recognition like this from a sitting president is a noteworthy personal achievement. Now, Mary's life extends far beyond boardrooms and assembly lines. 
She is the wife and mother of two and balances the demands of a high-powered career with the joys of family life, married to Tony Barra, who she met during her time at the General Motors Institute. She is also a passionate advocate for STEM education, empowering women in leadership roles. Her story is an inspiration not just for engineers and CEOs, but for anyone who dares to dream big and break down barriers. GM is committed to going all electric by 2035 and has pledged to phase out gas-powered vehicles from its U.S. lineup by that date, converting to electric vehicle production. This ambitious goal positions GM as a leader in the EV transition, potentially capturing a significant share of the rapidly growing market. Today, Mary Barra remains at the helm of GM, guiding the company towards a future powered by electric vehicles and technological advancements. Her journey is a testament to resilience, innovation, and a deep-seated love for the automobile. As GM navigates this ever-evolving landscape of the automotive industry, one thing is certain. Mary Barra will be at the wheel, driving the company and the future of mobility forward.